Hey everyone, Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I want to talk to you just briefly today about attending live events and how to maximize them more, whether you're the speaker, an exhibitor, or an attendee. And the reason I'm talking about this now is because there's a plethora of live events going on this spring, as usual, right? The March, April, May are usually, March and April especially, are heavy event uh, months, as well as September, October, right? So what do you do? How many do you go to? Where do you go? How do you maximize them? Well, there's keys you need to know on what to do before you go to an event, during the event, as well as after the event. And I actually have, I don't have a whole lot of time to share today. Hey, Madeline, Jimmy, Kristen, thanks for coming. Um, but I did, I'm gonna give you a couple quick tips and then share with you a couple resources on where else you can go to get more. So uh, if you can become the speaker, obviously uh, <clears throat> being the speaker at an, a live event or even a virtual event, like a Zoom call or a webinar or something like that, is the number one uh, thing you want to do. So apply to speak, obviously, and apply to speak even if you don't think you qualify and even if you know they probably won't choose you because you want to get on their radar and it's good experience to apply to speak regardless. I get rejection letters all year long, you guys, okay? I apply everywhere, all the big women's business conferences that have 30,000 attendees. I'm like, okay. You know, they bring in the huge celebrities as the speakers. I apply anyways, because why? Because there's a call for speakers, and why not, right? I want to get on their radar. So always apply. Uh, before, though, if you know you're going to go to an event, whether you're speaking or not, go find the resources with the pre-promotion. So usually there's a Facebook group. Uh, there's a Facebook event. There could be a LinkedIn group or a LinkedIn event. There could also be, um, inside those groups though, there are people that are already attending, so you can actually network with people before you even get there. So you wanna do a little recon and guerrilla marketing and before you even attend the event. Um, I will often join the group, even if I'm a speaker or an exhibitor or an attendee, I will join the group and then try to, to network and answer questions or even talk to people inside those groups. And it's a great way to, um, get to know people before as well as a lot of times you can schedule appointments with people if someone's a really good joint venture partner or maybe a potential a client you can say hey when we get there why don't we schedule a time where we can meet let's look at the schedule of the events and maybe we'll meet for lunch on Tuesday right and schedule something so you have some scheduled events while you when you get there with people that you really want to reach out to and you want to look for speakers. So try to introduce yourself to the speakers that are gonna be there if you're not a speaker or if you are, it doesn't matter. Now, as an exhibitor, you wanna prepare for that as well. So if you're gonna put things in the swag bag or the goodie bag, or you're gonna have a special drawing or a giveaway at your table, make sure you plan ahead. If you, you pre-order those things and have things maybe even shipped to the venue um, ahead of time, or sometimes I have friends in different cities that are also going to events. I'll ship them to my friend's house because then I don't have to pay the hotel fee to hold the stuff, and uh, I can ship stuff there. Um, and I just came back from an event where one of my friends was driving to the event in LA, and he actually took a big old suitcase with me, him, so I didn't have to bring it, uh, so I could bring less stuff, or still bring a lot of stuff, but not. Um, not lug it all with me on the plane. So there's options to think like that. When you're at events, you want to know how to work the room. Um, and it's not in a salesy way, of course, but you got to work the room to meet as many people as possible and know what your goals are, what your objection objectives are when you go, and uh, what your follow-up is going to be, please, and your call to action. One of the biggest mistakes I see when people have a display table, hey, Amanda, and uh, Rita, it's funny, I can't read who's on without my glasses. I was trying to, um, Stacy, yay. Um, when you are um, doing an exhibitor table, the biggest mistake I see, and I, I do exhibitor tables all the time, and I would say 75%, 75% of the exhibitor tables I see at trade shows and even just a simple, um, live event that even with 20 people if you have a display table 
they don't have a drawing. They don't have somewhere to put your name and email or fill out a little slip to enter the drawing to get on an email list. Oh my God, it's the biggest mistake ever. Now, I know there's some other business coaches out there and stuff that teach you, well, just go and find those three people in the crowd of 100 that are, want to buy your services or that are good prospects. Yes, you want to do that, and you want to get everybody else too, because I have had people call me from that have been on my email list for 10 years and said, okay, Katrina, I'm ready to talk to you now, and then they sign up for my one-on-one -on -one coaching. So do not underestimate the power of a cold person and a warm lead, um, as well as the hot. Capture them all and find a way to offer something that everybody wants access to, uh, first of all. So then, okay, after the event, what do you do? Well, you have to have the follow-up system in place. And I'm actually a little behind in my follow-up, I admit it, because I need a local assistant right now. So if you know anybody in the greater Sacramento area <laughs> who wants to do data entry for me, I, uh, these are already entered, but this is the kind of stuff I come back with, a bunch of business cards and drawing slips uh, from events. And then I need someone to do the data entry. That is where the biggest mistake is for most entrepreneurs, is they don't have someone to do the data entry. And so it never gets done. You don't actually do it and nobody else does it. Therefore, it's really difficult to send ongoing emails and or uh, do direct mail pieces or have a call list. So, I mean, I have a spreadsheet that I call from, so I have them all in the spreadsheet. And then when I'm making my follow-up call calls, I will just go through the list and make phone calls and notes from that phone call sheet, so it's a spreadsheet. Um, but I can upload that to my shopping cart where my autoresponders are and my email marketing and stuff like that as well. So. There's a whole bunch of things to know about doing a table display, uh, going to live events, but the key is, I mean, you could go to two or three conferences, potentially, uh, where your target market, your ideal clients are going to be. You could go to two or three, maybe four a year, and fill your entire pipeline for the entire year if you do the right things that are going to that are going to move those people from cold to sold, basically, or move those people through your marketing and sales funnel so that you can actually talk to them or they'll get to a next step with you. But you gotta have a plan and you gotta put these pieces in place. You might even need an assistant to help you um, and I can show you how to do all that. I do have a couple resources for you and then I gotta go to a coaching call. Um, so the, first of all, there's a couple events coming up that you might wanna attend, especially if you're in Northern California. Um, and if you're virtual, if you're not in Northern California, um, you could travel to some of these, but also I do a lot of virtual events. I just got off the International Entrepreneur Network call that I do, and that's a membership, and it's $7 a month. So if you want help like this and answer quick questions and help you dive in to, this is the reason I'm doing this call today is because one of the gals in the, in the group called just before this ask questions about what to do in her table display this tomorrow at the event that we're doing. And so I gave her some tips and I thought, oh, more people need to know this. Um, but the, I have a whole ebook on trade shows and how to do exhibitor booths and what to say and what, how to make offers and uh, things that you can do in your follow-up. And if you want that ebook, um, it's $27. I have to stick it on a web page still to sell it. I'm actually going to do that probably later today. But if you want it, just put um, trade show ebook in the in the comments. Um, then, if you want to delegate some of this stuff, I have a delegation ebook where it's like really jumpstarting your team and how to delegate, how to hire. That's twenty seven dollars as well. But it's a really great resource because I poured everything I know about delegating and hiring and managing a team, uh, as well as a big huge checklist into that ebook. So that's team ebook. Um, if you want that one, and you can go to jumpstartyourteam.com right now to get that. Uh, but as far as a little bit more information on uh, what to do at live events, I have a YouTube channel, you guys, with a ton of videos on it. I do a lot of content on YouTube videos. And so I have ones there to work the room. I have a before networking event, uh, during a live event, and I have an after live event. These are all free, so you can go over to my YouTube channel, just do a search for Katrina Sawa and uh, subscribe to the channel while you're there. Watch some videos, leave comments if you want or questions. And uh, I'd love, and you can get a lot more information about uh, doing pretty much anything in your business or marketing over there on YouTube. But make sure you're also getting my email newsletters because 
that are chock full of this stuff and it'll remind you to go to the YouTube and watch the videos and it'll give you the pertinent information quickly. Like this video will then become a blog post, right? And how do you repurpose this stuff? We want to share this stuff out, but we also want to repurpose the content that you're creating. So join me either tomorrow, if you can, at the Lead Inspire Profit event. If you go to lead, L-E-A-D, inspireprofit.com, you can sign up. It's 10 bucks, you guys. There's four speakers on sales, marketing, productivity, mindset. It's going to be a great, really great event in Sacramento from 9 to 4 at the Crown Plaza. You can come uh, on your own, but um, I mean, you don't have to pre-register, but I'd really appreciate it if you pre-register so we can get a better head count. Again, it's 10 bucks, and the, that dollar, those dollars go to charity. Um, I go to leadinspireprofit.com for that. And then there's an event next week that I'm going to be at um, doing a roundtable on book publishing. And that's in Rohnert Park. It's a women talk business uh, event. So it's a women's business conference. And I just talked to the, the gal yesterday. And she, um, and I got to go. She has over 200 people already. But um, I've promoted that online. And I'll, I'll share it again. But uh, make sure you uh, attend one of these events and watch my feed, get on my email, uh, because I always give realistic, practical, tactical stuff that you need to do to grow your business. So there you go. Have a great day, everyone. Talk to you soon.